Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 Edition. Page 359. Bleeding Disorders. When does bleeding time increase? There is an increase in bleeding time when there is a defect in the platelet plug formation. So remember, defects in platelet plug formation is different than coagulation disorders in which there would be an increase in the prothrombin time or the partial thromboplastin time, whereas in defects in platelet plug formation, there would be an increase in bleeding time. Name all the problems that can occur due to platelet abnormalities. Platelet abnormalities can lead to microhemorrhages in which you would see mucous membrane bleeding, epistaxis, which is nosebleeds, petechiae, purpura, increase in bleeding time, and possibly there can be a decrease in the platelet count. What is bernard Chollier syndrome? bernard Chollier syndrome is the defect in the platelet plug formation due to the defect in platelet to 1 Willebrand factor adhesion due to deficiency of glycoprotein 1b. What would happen to the platelet count and bleeding time in bernard Chollier syndrome? In bernard Chollier syndrome, as well as in all platelet disorders, there would be an increase in the bleeding time, but in this case, there would also be a decrease in platelet count. What is Glanzmann thrombasthenia? Glanzmann thrombasthenia is the defect in the platelet plug formation due to defect in the platelet to platelet aggregation, and this occurs due to the decrease in expression of glycoprotein 2b and 3a at the surface of platelets. What are the lab findings observed in Glanzmann thrombasthenia? In Glanzmann thrombasthenia, the blood smear will show no platelet clumping. What happens to the platelet count and the bleeding time in Glanzmann thrombasthenia? Again, as we mentioned that in all platelet disorders, there would be an increase in the bleeding time. But in Glanzmann thrombasthenia, there is also no change in platelet count. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.